And I'm going to make Lancashire hot pot, aren't I? Yeah. So that would normally be made in winter and it would normally be made from mutton. And for those people who don't know what mutton is, because you don't see it now, it's all sheep, really. But today I'm just going to use only lamb chop, which is healthier. Yeah, I'll just turn that off now, because it's relatively brown. I'm a dab hand with this, aren't I? I'm dead fast. <laughs> My husband is quite amazed. It takes him ages to peel a spud. I think in another life I was a squaddy. Must have done a lot of spud bashing. You see the difference? That's a Lincolnshire potato and feels slightly more spongy. And these are lovely because they'll fall, what we call fall, into the stock and uh, disappear almost. But these will hold firm, so you, you've got the flavour and the texture then. I, I work on about a third as much onion and enough chops for everybody. Right, I'm gonna cry now, because these have been picked from the garden today. When, if you use small onions, um, because the flavour is so strong, you don't need um, as much as you would for using the big one. I don't advise you cut them like this if you're using a sharp knife. It's not that sharp, this one, I'm, and I'm used to it, of course. And now I'm crying. I'm being more careful with these ones, because these are... I'm trying to get these the right, uh, same thickness, which will help the dish better for the top. When you buy hot pots in town, that's not Lancashire hot pot because they're like, that's got beef in, hasn't it? And a little pastry lid. Have you ever bought a hot pot from Diggles or something? It's not, not the same. Apparently the women on the way to work would take this pot because the bread makers would have finished making the bread, put, put it in the bread makers ovens on the way to the factory because they were cooling down uh, and it would have been wasted otherwise, because it'd take hours to cool down, presumably, wouldn't it? And then pick it, pick their pot up on the way home, already cooked, and that's why, this, I presume, the slow process of cooking it. I'm just going to lay these round and round. I'm not the world's best at decorating. It should be in a nice ring pattern, really if you were very professional. I'm sure Delia Smith would die if she saw mine. Let's try one more. I'll put the liquid in. Um, I know how much it'll take. I'm going to try and put it so it's about halfway up the dish. And my granny used to boil up bones, any bones, and take the water from the boiled up bones and use it as stock. but you couldn't get various stock cubes that you can now. Right, I've put some oil in this little dish and I'm just going to coat the top so when it's done, we're going to have a lovely, crispy, hopefully, golden top. Put the lid on and I'm going to take it over to the oven now. So say a prayer, guys, that this turns out nice. I'm going to leave that oven on hot for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn it down to 140 um, Celsius. I thought, well, I'm cooking, I'll yeah, make it to the family, yeah. Quite often when I'm cooking, I'll phone, I'll say, do you want to come for tea or do you want a takeaway? And my husband nips round in the car and takes the evening meal. If... <laughs> so that they, they're all at work, they don't have to bother. Part of the pleasure of my cooking is that I love feeding people. If I lived on my own, I'd live off sandwiches. Honestly. Good morning, girls. How are you today? I don't think they like potato peelings. I 
I baked yesterday, and these are very modern recipes. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like a cup of coffee and a piece of cake, you're more than welcome. That would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so what sport are you into? Oh, I can't play any sport. I'm absolutely useless, but I love it. I used to run a football club. What happened? The kids were so naughty at dinner time for the dinner ladies. They got so naughty. And the school where I worked had massive fields and grounds, but they were all kept on the yard. And I said, these kids need something to do. So me and two other nursery nurses, or assistants, set up a football club. We had 100 children every lunchtime playing football. It was great. Love it. A bit useless. I'm not a very good umpire, I think. Oh, it's a shame for him, I'll let him have that goal. And if somebody was offside, you know, I'd say, well, it's only because you ran very fast, you wouldn't have been offside. <laughs> just useless. And they just go, Sonia, because they call me Sonia. Sonia, that, was that wasn't a goal and that was... I, I say, oh, go on, it's only fun, because it was only fun. Uh, use a skewer in it and you'll test, you put it, it will just go in. If it shows any resistance, it's not done. And for the last hour, take your lid off and that'll just brown it. And you leave it in until it's done. And I reckon, it, I, I think about four hours. Cheers, Dad. Cheers. <laughs> Hope you have a good trip to Lancashire. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't even, I'm not even a Lancashire girl, but my parents.